a big, big unit. Right sure. I need flush it down. Oh, there we go. It's a big unit, brother still. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Thus begins our video today. Yes. Brother Stogie, this video is sponsored by New Air. Yes, the Cigar Titan official partner. That's right. Of the Cigar Titan channel, New Air USA. So now we, we're going to apologize in advance if there's a little bit of an echo mm -hmm. because we have a couple of challenges that we're working through today in the Stogie Den, in the Stogie Den to ensure that we get the best possible shot on camera right now for this new air cigar humidor that we'll talk about here in just a minute. But we had to keep the garage door down so that we didn't have the glare yes. popping off yes. the window. Yes. We've got a lot more extra space. Because we have to transform the Stogie Den into the Titan Lounge. That's right. So thus we needed more space to do so. Right, and so there's a little bit of an echo, I'm sure that's being picked up right now that you probably don't typically hear on most of our they videos. Don't they don't. But it's only gonna be for this video and we'll have it fixed back to normal by the next video. So Brother Stogie, let's talk a little bit about the new Air 1500 count cigar beast sitting between us. We're out of these beverages. After these messages, we'll be right back. Welcome back everybody, like we said at the beginning of the episode, today's video is sponsored by New Air USA, yes. USA, yes. and they were gracious enough, Brother Stogie, to send us out this beautiful 1500 count humidor. Cigar humidor cabinet. Cigar humidor cabinet. Yes. Now you can see already, this thing is monstrous. Mm, yes. Monstrous. But Brother Stoby, before we start getting into the unit itself, yes. let's talk a little bit about what we are smoking today. I'm, I'm taking it easy today. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Today is my, my, my oldest son's first day of swim class, mm -hmm. uh, which is very tiresome, trying to almost threw his ass in the pool because <laughs> he didn't want to go in, but we got him in there. So I'm just taking it easy and I have a nice, sweet, delicioso, fat, sweet, well, there you go, share, share the camera. <laughs> okay. Nice fat smoke cigar right there. <laughs> yes, this this one's all the attention. <laughs> right. So today I am actually smoking a Oscar Valadares Superfly. Show them that show them that Superfly shit right there. Check out the label on the cigar, people. Look at that. Oh, and it's a nice big band all the way around. Where'd you get it, bro? Where'd you get that cigar? So this one was actually, I believe, a lounge that I was in out in Vegas and I picked this one up during my trips last week. Okay, got yes, it. <laughs> there we go. Hey, so I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. So New Air went on and teamed up with Zycar. That's right. And they made them a single flame cigar torch. Yes, sir. For no one, for no other, no, no one other bet, no one better than. Yeah, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> <laughs> right, Peter Piper, Peter the Pick of Peppers, right? <laughs> then the Seaguar Titans. Check this out. Right. Oh, right there. New air, turn around. Boom, thank you for the torch. Nice single flame. Right there, boom, right there. I like single flame torches, because you get the, the precision lighting. You don't have to worry about torching off your eyebrows or anything, because it's right there, nice and direct. Right. The flame is not too long. It's not too overflamed. Overflamed, I like yes, that. Yes, overflamed. There are, and there are some torches out there that really will char a cigar if you're not careful. Shit, it'll char some molten metal. Right. <laughs> Make some damn 14 karat gold right in your garage or some of them torches that are out there. <laughs> not 14 yeah. karat gold. <laughs> <laughs> so Brother Stogie, Jasmine Filarino was kind enough to reach out to us and send us out this 1500 count humidor. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits you get from having a cigar, it's basically a, like a cigar bedroom here. It is a cigar bed. So just have a humidor period. You have a safe spot for your cigar. Right. Okay, you're not keeping it in Ziploc bags. Okay, you can upgrade it from your Tupperdoors. Now, you've gotten yourself a 400 count humidor. Right. Okay, but now you can got all these monthly subscriptions in from LuxuryCigarClub.com. 
you didn't went out and you didn't you know fancy your brick and mortar cigar lounge so you got cigars from them mm, mm. you know your homeboy who's your brother you know what i'm saying he he, he brought you some shit from vegas so you know you got two extra cigars mm. plus you bought two bottles of factory smokes when yep. we have parties yep. so now you got 80 unnecessary cigars to store somewhere <laughs> so you need some space that's right and that's where you, that's, where, that's where this comes in that's right now that should be noted that if you're just getting into the cigar game because we do a lot of videos for folks that are just getting into yeah. cigars this is probably not going to be the most practical first cigar purchase you make even to be an asshole you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is not where you start off at okay? <laughs> right i mean if you if you got I, I guess if you're at the baller status and you want to just like you know, you you want to flash out or whatever yeah, right, and show right. off, you know, if, sure. If you got this painted, okay. Whatever. Yeah, sure, no problem. But typically when you're first starting out in the cigar game, you usually start off with something like a desktop humidor. 150 count. 150 count thermoelectric humidor, something like that, you know, but you don't usually go straight up to the 1500. This is usually for folks that have- Done this for some years. Yeah, exactly. Done this for some years, have really established a love and a passion for cigars and just, Almost to a point to where maybe you have a little bit of a cigar addiction and you like collecting cigars. It's not an addiction. Okay? <laughs> no, it's not an addiction. It's a little bit of an addiction. Okay, an enthusiast, okay? It's not an addiction, okay? I don't want you guys to put that word out there because it's a serious term that, that requires therapy. Cigars are therapy for the song. So it can't be an addiction and therapy at the same time. That's an oxymoron, right? You can't do that. So for those enthusiasts who buy cigars, your Padron 1984 anniversarios, KR Tour Fuente double chateaus. You know, and you wanna be like, you know what? I don't wanna smoke this until next year. Right. So I want this to go ahead and mature a little bit. So you're gonna put that down here, okay? The double touch zone down here. Right. Put all your new stuff, your factory smokes, all that stuff up here. So you go in and out, you pull in the drawer, in and out, you try to pick, pick stuff out. Put some up here. Agent, right there. Mature, not so mature. Right, now, another benefit to having something this large versus say something like, you know, I have an Audu uh, 150 count thermoelectric humidor, mm -hmm. which is, you know, for for what it is, it's a great humidor, It's but it's very narrow. Yeah. It's deep, but it's very narrow. So if you're somebody like me who likes to buy boxes of cigars at a time, most of the time what I end up having to do is take the boxes themselves, take the cigars out of the box, and then yeah. put the cigars into the humidor. With this particular unit, and Brother Stogie, I'm gonna pop this open. Pop it open. Boom, there we go. With this particular unit, you don't actually have to do that because the shelves are more than big enough to accommodate boxes and boxes of cigars. Now the inside of this, the shelves are, what are they, Brother Stogie? Cedar. Spanish cedar. Sexy Spanish cedar. Yes. That's right. SSS. -S -S. Sexy Spanish cedar. Sexy. No, okay. that's SSC. <laughs> <laughs> but I like how you're just <laughs> going along. With that's how you do it. You bro mess up, you know what I'm saying? You never go ahead and marinate that. You know what I'm saying? Don't question in front of in front of company. You know, our company's watching. So now one of the other things, Brother Stogie, that yes. uh, I've noticed as we're messing around here with the shelves today is just how easy the shelves roll in. It is on bearing, yeah. roller bearings. Bingo. Okay? Like your dresser drawer in your room. Some roller bearings. You, you're, you take them out, there's instructions inside the main that show you how to take these drawers out easily without messing them up. But yes, you slide in, slide out. Slide in, slide out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and they do lock into place when you push them back so that it doesn't wobble or anything like that. But again, nice large Spanish cedar shelving and we'll give you a shot down here as well. So they, they can't see what's down there, but of course we got the B-roll footage that's gonna allow, allow them to see what's down there. That's right. What is special about that fourth roll down there? So there's actually a couple of things here, as you can see on the video now, that is really unique uh, to this particular unit. Uh, and that is, at first, you've got the new air stamped in the shelf down below, which is, it almost looks like somebody took 
Like, a, like an iron, what do you call them? The branding new, iron. New Air branding. Like a New Air branding iron and then stamped New Air into the wood there on the last shelf, which looks really cool. Uh, and you also have this reservoir here, brother. Stogie, you wanna talk a little bit about the water reservoir we have here? So typically when you have a, a humidor, you put some bovida packs. You might have to go on Amazon and buy a little humidification bead that you'll put distilled water in and the beads will expand. However, this is an automatic humidification system. So the drawer is you put your water inside the reservoir and the humidor humidif who will automatically keep this humidification system going. That's right. But you don't put any kind of water in this thing. You don't want to put just any kind of tap water in there. What kind of water do you put up in here? You always, always, whenever you're using water in a humidor, want to use distilled water. Distilled water, okay? No minerals, no all the extra stuff that you might find in regular tap water. Chlorine. All that stuff to mess up the system in the unit. So, Brother Stogie, as you can, as everybody can see right now on camera, this particular unit is illuminated fairly well. Again, we're doing something similar to what we did with your 250 count new air, new humidor. air humidor. And uh, we're actually using our aperture light to illuminate the inside. But go ahead and show them, because this one is actually a well lit unit. So I put, I put it like this. The top shelf is our own aperture light. Everything below, dim it just a smidge, that's the light you get inside the unit. Another thing to note, and you'll see here on the video, is there's actually LED lining that lines both sides of the wall inside the humidor here. And there's an LED strip right above here mm -hmm. that also illuminates down. So this is gonna be a very well lit unit. It's not going to be like the standard humidors you see that put like the one little tiny LED on the very right. top, right smack dab in the center. And it does a great job of lighting the top shelf, but when it comes to lighting the shelves down below, doesn't do so much because the light can't pass through the shelving and the cigars to hit the bottom shelf. With this unit, you don't have that problem because the lights are actually fixated on the side of the unit itself. Yes. So brother Stogie, yes. one of the other features to this particular unit here, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up again, mm -hmm. is the digital panel we have right here on the top. What I like about this one, because on the one, the 250 can humidor I have, the buttons are actually on the outside. So when you're trying to clean the glass, sometimes you can press the temperature up and down. But this one, everything is right here. So your temperature, your temperature set, right is right here to change it from themselves. Here's the Fahrenheit, your power button, your light button is right there. Your temperature control up and down is all right there, and boom, you're good to go. Now, there are some benefits to having it on the outside, like you were saying, there are some downsides when you're cleaning the unit. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you can accidentally press a button. One of the benefits to having the buttons on the outside though, so for example, like the light mm -hmm. on the outside of the unit. Mm -hmm. If you just wanna see what's in your humidor before opening it up and letting out all that humidity, mm -hmm. you could hit the light on the outside of the door and be able to take a look at it. This particular unit though, because the buttons are actually fixated on the inside of the unit here, yes. you actually have to open the unit, let out a bit of that humidity, turn on the light, and then you can kind of see what's going on inside there. So, let me, let me go ahead and correct myself real quick because they had two buttons that look like the same button, but, however, mm. so this one right here, it's actually the mold button where you can adjust the humidity. This one right here is where you adjust the Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay. You have a gauge right here that will show the humidity and the temperature of your cigars. Oh, okay. Okay, Good. so it tells you that th there's a, pre a precision and memory mode in this humidor to where even though it'll show the temperature that's inside the, the humidor, the temperature inside your cigar won't be too far off. So before I hit that, I'm going to look for the cubic inches in this. So the cool thing about this unit is once you reach a level, let's say 54 degrees, mm -hmm. and it's down there for too long, means that your unit is too cold now. Right. This unit, if frost builds up in the unit, the unit will automatically melt the frost. The frost will then go into a reservoir of its own. The unit in the back, the heat from the unit mm. will melt and evaporate the liquid and turn it back into its own humidification unit. That is some fancy stuff right there. Yes. 
my whole college education thing <laughs> went on when I was reading this because that was some. That's new- like an entry level class of engineering <laughs> right there. <laughs> if there was a cigar tight school of cigars, right. that would have been a class right there for humidication. <laughs> Let's see. Cubic feet, cubic inch. Let's see how big this bad boy is. Let's see. So. Let's see. Dimensions. This thing is 23.81 inches in width, 23.62 inches in depth, and 34.25 inches in height. And this is actually called an ultrasonic humidity control system. Let's see, what, 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 let's see. Temperature range, like I said, 5472. This unit itself caught, is 100 pounds, so make sure we have to move this thing to and fro from the box to the living room or to wherever you're gonna store it. Have somebody help you, okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right, and even and it's not necessarily even the weight of the unit that's the problem because both brother Stogie and I could very easily lift a hundred pounds. It's, it's a bulkiness. It's a bulky, bulky unit, and trying to move this thing on your own could be problematic. It's not worth running the risk of damaging your newly purchased New Air fifteen hundred yes. count cigar cabinet yes. humidor. Have somebody help you move it. So they were nice enough, so the handles that are on this unit came detached. There's a nice little grid at the bottom of the unit that came detached as well. New Air was great to provide some screws for each piece that needed to be connected. However, New Air, you put a hex key yep. in the bag. We're gonna figure out what it goes to eventually. Full of Phillips screws. I didn't see directions for the hex key, <laughs> but I saw a lot of Phillips screws. Yes. So I put a triangle in the square hole. <laughs> that is true. Not sure what the hex key was for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Take a look inside there, mess around with it, see if there's something that maybe. If we don't, missed. new air. <laughs> it's like putting a triangle piece into a square hole. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe they just had a bunch of extra hex keys laying around they or find something. It, they, find it for some reason. Like, right. they, they could probably use this for something. <laughs> so, cigar type. We talked about the height, weight, and depth of this bad boy. We did. How we did. much it costs. The we haven't, soup. Actually, we haven't talked about how much it no, costs. No, we haven't talked about that because I'm going to ask that question, but I'm setting you up, so I'm going to continue setting you up when you ask question. <laughs> okay. So, height, weight, and depth, how much this bad boy thing weighs. There you, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, this, and the super intricate, fancy ass humidification system that's in there. So, what they want to know now is how much does it cost? So, this is gonna set you back. This particular unit is gonna set you back a couple of pennies. So, like I said, as somebody who may just be getting started off in the cigar game, your best bet is to probably look for, you know, a cheaper desktop type humidor that you can usually get starting around 50 bucks. You may even be able to find some cheaper ones, you know, in the you know mid to low $30 range and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And, you know, just to kind of find out if, this cigar lifestyle is for you. Yes. This is when you're like, fuck yeah, the cigar lifestyle is for me. <laughs> I'm all about cigars. When people come over, I want them to know that I'm a cigar, I am a cigar. I am a cigar <laughs> smoker. Right? I am a cigar titan. And on top of being a cigar smoker, <laughs> every Sunday, I watch the Titan fam every damn Sunday. That's right. So people are going to know you're a cigar type when they come over and you've got this 1500 count right. big SOB sitting in the right. house. And a unit like this on the New Air website right now will put you back about $1,999 and 99 cents. So, but you do, go ahead, you first. Do we have a discount code? We do have a discount code. We will put the discount code down in the description. So you have to watch this video to the end to get, well you don't, you just go and get the damn discount code out of the description and go buy your, damn, buy your shit. But down below, we got it for you every single time, don't you? And how much does that discount code give them off this unit? 10%. 10%? Off of this. So 10% off $2,000, that's a nice little chunk of change. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks off the unit and there you go. You're on your way. So so you'd be like, well damn, Titan, this is expensive. You know what I'm saying? But you like this. Okay, we go through Luscious Cigar Club monthly boxes every month. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We, we preferably, we have two boxes, a core box and a palladium box. Yes. So that's about $100 or so that we, you know, will spend each month. In each box, you have at least, at least in the palladium, about $70, 80 worth of cigars. Correct. Okay? Depending on how long you've been smoking cigars and how many cigars you have, 
you have hundreds, if not thousand dollars worth of cigars yes. in your home. So the investment to spend, roughly seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars if you use cigar titles discount code down in the description below, is worth it. Yeah. Now one of the things before we go mm -hmm. that I thought was super unique about this particular humidor was the warranty. Oh! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> There's a warranty to all these people, right? So if you go if you go ahead, you buy any unit from New Air, make sure you register your unit on newair.com. Uh, be sure to do New Air a favor um, and leave a review on their website. Let us know what you think about the unit. Also, don't forget to take a picture of your unit and post it on social media. Yep. Most like more than likely Instagram and tag New Air USA or my new air usa hashtag them tag them and let them see what you got yeah, tag us like if you're flexing if you're gonna flex we want to see your flex let them know who sent you, you that's know what right I'm saying? If you, so if you got it because you've seen it on our, on our channel go ahead tag them tag us boom boom that's how it works back to the warranty yes so the warranty in the back nope that's a different language so it's in the middle Thank you. Nope, still a different language. Okay. Weird that kind. Nope, still a different language. There you go. Warranty terms. We all know it's covered if it comes to you damaged. Right. Okay. Long term wear and tear. Eventually, your warranty wear off and it won't cover some things. Power failure. Make sure that you plug this thing in properly. Please do not plug your humidor in any size attached to a damn extension cord. Right. Okay, plug it straight into a wall, preferably a 120 volt out amp outlet. If you don't know none of that, call the electrician to make sure your baby is protected. Okay, protect your baby. And if you are going to plug it into, for whatever reason, an extension cord or something like that, make sure you have a surge protector on there so you don't fry the unit in the event of a power outage or anything like that. That way the unit will shut off. At least the unit will still be closed. You're gonna have a good amount of time that it keeps the humidity and things like that. Not necessarily something you're gonna to have to worry about right away. So here's what new air will not cover. Warranty does not cover power failure. Damaged, because you dropped it and tried to pick up this heavy ass device right. unit by yourself. <laughs> you crack it, it's yours now. They're not gonna pay you. They're not sending you another one, baby. Let's see, uh, improper low voltage, accidents or altercation. So if you're trying to put something else in there that's already part of that and you mess it up, guess what it's your fault now. Um, Use in commercial and industrial applications. Mm -hmm. uh, use of force or damage caused by external influences because your wife said, hey, I don't like your cigar smoke. And she throws something at it, guess what? Kick her out and she cry because <laughs> you ain't getting enough. <laughs> and last but not least, fire, water damage, theft, war, riot, hostility, or acts of God. <laughs> Such as hurricanes, flood, and etc. Is it actually say acts of God? It says G O D. <laughs> is it capital G? <laughs> yes, it is. They they say it respectful for all those who are who are Christian like men. They said acts of God. <laughs> Not even God Himself can get you a new human being. <laughs> If, just if God on. deems it that you should not have a humidor, unfortunately, New Air is going to side on the side of our Lord and Savior here. Right, so if you were in the state of Florida, Louisiana, or any one of those states that has severe hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, etc., you better ask FEMA to pay for your new humidor. <laughs> 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 Brother Stogie, yes. that is all the time we have for today. Yes, it is. So I hope you all enjoyed <laughs> that nice new air review of this beautiful 1500 count cigar humidor. It is a beautiful unit. The disclaimer, okay? It is 1500 cigars. Yes. So if you put boxes in here, as you see, you can fit with no problem. That may cut your space down just a little bit, okay? Right. So please do not call New Air. Do not contact the Cigar Titan and say, hey, 
I put these boxes in here and I'm not getting 1,500 count cigars out of my unit. Right, most of the time, Brother Stogie, when they're measuring units for things like how many cigars it can hold, it's not, they don't measure the units based off a variety of different size cigars, ring gauges, or things right. like that. It's usually a Robusto size cigar. They put them in there, everything is the exact same size, and they tell you, okay, well, it can hold 1,500 Robusto size cigars. But they're trying to buy 1,500 donkey dicks and try to put these right. in the humidor and say, hey, I can't fit these large ass ring gauge cigars in here. It ain't gonna work. Right. Throw that out there. Hope you enjoyed this review. Of course, New Year, shout out. Thank you for the partnership and the camaraderie. We love y'all, we love the New Air family. Thank you for being part of the Titan fan. Um, and can't wait to see what else you'll bless our Titan fan with to see how they can improve their cigar experiences right. in their own homes. 100%. If you haven't seen our previous New Air videos, you can go back quite a bit and see the 250 count New Air humidor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nice stainless steel, bad boy. The New Air- How's that been holding up for you? Wonderful. Great unit, right? Wonderful. I barely had. I haven't had to re-season it. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. Right. Uh, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty full. It's, it's stuffed. Cause I got some other stuff in there. That's right. Some other stuff. <laughs> um, the new air fridge that we got. Mm -hmm. That that was that was wonderful. Talking about the deep freezer. The right? deep freezer. Yeah. That was wonderful. Okay. You getting getting some use out of that. Shit. Family pack waffles, family pack pancakes, steaks, chicken, <laughs> family pack hagen dyes, big bags of ice, you name it, brisket, pork, pork roast, all that all that stuff going there. Uh what else did we get in there? Oh, we got the fridge. We got the fridge, we got the 60 count fridge, we got you we got, got the 120 count anniversary. And you got the, the froster. The, the beer froster. The beer froster. Beer froster is awesome. Man. So, some nice legit stuff outside of just humidors, y'all. Um, but I didn't prolong this, this ending quite a bit, didn't I? Right. All right. Yeah. But that's um, all right. We're talking new air. We are, we are talking new air. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. I mean, that if you haven't already, I mean, come on. Hit it. But most importantly, Brother Stogie, what do they got to hit? The like button. And like, because that like does what for us? Because we like your likes. Plus! It pushes the cigar tightens up that algorithm. It keeps us algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Because when we climb the algorithm, we put we, we, we put our hand down to our Titan fan. We pull y'all up mm -hmm. with us. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you get new notifications every time Cigar Titan posts a new video for y'all. Till next time. Live how you smoke. Smoke how you live. That's move, baby. We'll see you guys next week.